All right, this one's called Another Veterans FE Exp- Evidence. Ooh, good. Hello, Mark. I'm a veteran that flew in the Navy EP3 Orion surveillance plane, and I have a few things that could be possible evidence of the flat earth theory. I am not completely convinced of FE, but I see a lot of indications that point in that direction. I am also not a Christian, so I don't buy into the arguments that because primitive people's poetic description of the earth is somewhat similar to modern FE theory, that somehow proves the flat earth. I'm an analytical, logical, and open-minded. However, and research conspiracies. So that got me into studying flat earth theory somewhat. I read that sentence as it was. Uh, The first thing that you may not not know about, although it has been released to the public, has to do with military communications. Like your guest from Australia was talking about when I was a linguist, when I wasn't writing on the P3, we were told that the transmissions we would receive for analysis at our base were transmitted either via satellite or via the U-2 spy plane. At that time, around the year 2000, the public had been told that the U-2 was no longer in use. Several years later, they announced that they were using, they were still in using the U-2. Even though they said we had satellites, they could have been lying and using the U-2 for all our communications. Or, what I believe more likely is that they do have some satellites, but they're too expensive or difficult to use for most purposes. The other thing I wanted to let you know about was a special mission I supported for a few weeks. I flew some missions on a special all-gray P-3 that I was led to believe was used for the CIA, but they referred to them as special projects. Our normal EP-3s were painted white and black, but this one was all gray, had a smaller crew, and didn't have the same equipment that our planes had. It was the, I was the only linguist on board and was basically just there as a warning system not to collect any intelligence. As we were flying to our destination, I asked one of the crew what the mission was, and I was told that they had a high-power camera to take intelligence pictures of installations from a distance. Now, this doesn't prove that we don't have reconnaissance satellites, but it shows how we could have used those kind of photographs without using satellites. Coincidentally, that was also the original mission of the U-2, taking surveillance photos of Russia. I'm sure I'm not supposed to talk about that mission, but I thought it might be relevant to your research. Let me know if you have any questions. That's from Carl, and I won't say his last name, just in case he gets in trouble. 